Hello everyone. I hope you are liking my topics here. That is my training, my explanation for these subjects. And please uh, try to share and subscribe. Okay, these videos to more and more of your friends because they will also know and learn this. You will see. Okay. So today our next topic is multiple instance. What is instance now? So already we have discussed in our last classes. Right? Instance DB. Right? Instance DB means what is happening? That DB block is assigned to a function block. That means uh, that DB block is storing the data of that particular LB only. <clears throat> right? But uh, <clears throat> one LB, one DB, that means when you call the, that uh, same logic FB once again and you give the DB address, okay, another DB you have to give. Right? Another DB number you have to give. You cannot take the same DB number. What happens is it will overlap the memory. Means for the second logic also it will work the uh, according with the second, uh, sorry, with the first column. Okay, but the logic should work separately. And we are taking different, we have to take a different DB for that. DB addresses for that. Now, <clears throat> that's your single instance. One DB, one FB, one DB, that is your single instance. But I want to use like one DB for multiple FBs, multiple function blocks. That means in one DB itself, you can add different logics, okay, different FB logics you can create. Okay, so <clears throat> it will take different addresses in one single DB. That is called multiple instance. So how to create that multiple instance? Let's see that example. As we already created one logic in FB1, right? I create one more FB here, right here. Insert new object function block. Now, here I give the name like multi instance one something. And one more thing you have to check is this uh, mul dot inst dot cap means this should be tick mark. That means it is a multiple instance capacity. Or capability. <clears throat> okay, so that uh, option should be enabled. Most of the time it is enabled only. Okay, if you don't want to use any FBS multiple instance, you can disable that option. Now, say okay. Now I open FB2. Again, I go to the interface window here. In this, we select start, okay, not in inputs and outputs, okay, and directly taking this in start. Now, go to the <coughs> parameter window here. In this, like, uh, I can do some name like logic one example, data type. Here, you can call your data type directly as a function block or UDT, array, or string, any. Data app directly here. So I'm directly calling the function block. Okay, that be here you can see it is showing a b and the bracket and r means number. Double click on this. <clears throat> okay, double click on the logic. We show you the data type a b number. Just remove this from here to this bracket. Okay, there is a space here. Okay, a b space. This block you want to call logic you want to call fb1 okay select fb1 say okay 
or if you are having under logic, like FB number three, four, they are having under logic, right? So for FB one, we are given the name as motor underscore runtime. Okay, we showing that runtime. Okay, that FB name, symbolic name. Then in the next line, I'll call logic two. Where if I want to call the same logic once again, <clears throat> double click to it and select the FB number one again. If you are having another logic, another FB, FB number three, you are having some different logic in that. Okay, you want to call FB number three here in the next logic call, you can select FB number three. Okay, so multiple logics you can call here in the single FB block. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm calling multiple subroutine blocks in a single block. Okay, only FBs. I'm calling only FBs. Okay, there's no FC option here. You see here, there's no FC option here. Only FB or SFB. Okay, now. <clears throat> Okay. I'm calling everyone one second. Now, after calling this logics, you can see on the start so when you expand this, this logic one you are hanging in out in our start, right? What are we are defined in the FB is directly taking here. Okay, now so this also is generating different addresses. Now so this addresses is actually for your DB addresses, right? Now after calling or defining these parameters in stat, go to the instructions window. Here you can see there is a option called multiple instance. So expand this multiple instances it will show you the logics okay that uh, calls or fb calls what we are calling here in the stack logic one logic two right so drag and drop this on the network you can see here this way you can drag and drop now you can do the addresses here like i0 point <coughs> if you want to do direct I addresses, you can use direct I addresses, or if you want to view parameters here also, then you have to define these parameters here in the interface for inputs and outputs. Okay, so that way also you can call. Okay, it's just like for making your logic a little bit complex uh, <clears throat> so that other person cannot uh, copy your logics. Okay, so that way means they cannot directly trace your logics or concepts okay for that purpose you can use <clears throat> so you your eyes again so you can see on in class with and zero point five and two zero point three. Now I save this block. Next I go to OB one. So here this block I have to call. I can call like this also as well as the next call I want to use multiple instance block. Go to the FB blocks. Here you call FB2. Drag and drop this block directly. It won't show any star stop anything here because we have defined that in the stat parameter. Okay. Whatever you define in stat, that is not displayed here in the call. Okay. It is storing the data in the backend. Okay. Now, the DB uh, is something. Data block number 
Instant DB. So let's see that in the semantic manager here, DB3. Open it. Now you can see here stacks declaration logic one and logic two. Okay, so it is setting different addresses here. Now okay, so it is setting different addresses. So I have called that same logic two times in the same DB. By using the same DB, you can call multiple logs. Okay. Now I save this. We need to download these blocks. Okay. So I select OB1, DB3, and download them. After downloading, I just have to ask the user download it again. DB3. Then I go to runtime. Okay. Is not fast in which download is not and then downloading this block separately. Yeah. Okay. FB and OB are downloaded separately once again because it was not showing this result. Now, you might do the start command here. The first logic is working, right? It is downloading the motor runtime for the first logic, right? Then the second one also you can start. I one point zero nine right? Okay. Okay. Like this, in single DB, you can call multiple IPs. That's called multiple instance. Okay. This is another concept you can use here in singles using actually an IP. Okay. So this is this, this for today.